scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. So there is a lot of church going on. There is a lot of conferences and activities and meetings. But what we have done primarily as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ is to reduce the ministration of the word to become an intellectual thing so it's just about theological dissertations or greek and hebrew somehow we have convinced ourselves that the more we read greek and hebrew and express you know the words in greek and hebrew and bring new words we think that the anointing is in the greek or the anointing is in the hebrew or the anointing is in the English or the communication. There is a spirit. There is a spirit. That's the reason why you can hear a very powerful message and not be changed. There is a spirit. Listen, as I'm talking to you right now, there is a spirit that is compelling what I'm saying to enter you so that you are persuaded. That's why you can bring somebody that is hardened. Somebody that will even swear that I won't listen to God, I won't do anything. And when he sits down under this anointing, from the prayer to the worship, there is a spirit. There is a spirit. Are you getting what I'm saying now? It is that spirit that makes the person just keep quiet later on. And all of a sudden, you are seeing somebody that you know was stubborn. Probably even insulting the meeting. And yet he's silent. And then paying attention. Listen. I want to convince you. That without the ministration of the spirit. Everything we are doing in ministry is useless. Get this. Get this. Get this. There is a wrong. Wrong understanding about impact and transformation. Many people wonder why you go to certain Christian circles. And there is hardly any change. For 10 years. People can be in a church, but there is no notable transformation. The only thing is that they know the names of everybody. And while it's good to teach people things like, um, uh, you know, accounting, timekeeping, other secular principles here and there, there is nothing in life that will replace the ministration of the Spirit. Not just being full of the Holy Ghost. Not just receiving the anointing, the ministration of the spirit, the participation that at every point in your dispensing of the word, there is a light. There is a life. That's the only way your words can transform people. Let me tell you something. I am always aware that it's a privilege for God's people to be gathered here week in, week out. Some persons have traveled from different states different regions to be here you cannot just come all the way to just come and listen to a a presentation of bible or just a religious bible study it's more than that that is the reason why let me tell you something it's good to listen to tapes it's good to read books but none of them can replace being in an atmosphere there is something about the atmosphere are you getting what i'm saying an atmosphere activates a lot of things there is something about you sitting down from the first time you come in and sit down 
even before the service starts proper there is already the ministration of, of the spirit going on convictions are changing ideologies are shifting death is being replaced by life the earthly is becoming the heavenly right that revelation listen let me tell you i've said it again and let me just use this opportunity to stress i absolutely believe that before jesus comes you see we've taught on the concept of immortality there's been a number of preachers who have brought that concept in the body of christ but what we have not taught people it is a scriptural concept the bible tells us death can be swallowed up in victory that the mortal can become the immortal that the natural the terrestrial can translate there is a provision in the kingdom that allows the natural to become divine are you getting what i'm saying now that divine dimension brothers and sisters is what we are called to demonstrate a believer must understand that there is nothing natural about you if you are not convinced about what i'm telling you you will never be able to do great things for the kingdom i know that here and there because of our humanity the attachment of this body somehow we tend to trivialize and we think that the activities of the kingdom must be done sensually and so we preach sensually we carry out all that we do sensually but there is a spirit there is a spirit that is the one factor that makes ministry different from business or makes ministry different from a, a seminar right that's the difference we have lost this spirit in crusades we have lost this spirit in conferences and you see that people sit down and they never live with that transformation can i tell you something the ministration of the spirit is not just about understanding a topic it's about the presence of god changing you meaning if we come here and all we do is to sing you should still live transformed because you see the the concept of transformation is not just about hearing words alone when you are sitting in an atmosphere something begins to happen at once your convictions there is a shift there is an alignment that makes you and postures you to begin to receive of spiritual things first john chapter 5 verse 11 and this is the record or this is the testimony that god has given unto us what eternal life the word here is zoe i know we talk a lot about it eternal life is not life after death listen listen eternal life is not life it's not the life you receive after death right what happens after death is the consummation the consummation right eternal life is the divine life god's own kind of life being supplanted in a human spirit and finding expression here and now in the earth realm and the quality of that life if it is of god it should be able to conquer anything in this life including death but it is the ministration of that life that many people do not understand so we in the kingdom let me read the, the scripture let me not go ahead of myself it says and this is the record that god has given unto us what so it is clear from scripture that it has been given but how is the technology of that life transferred it says and this life is where it's in his son next verse it says he that had the son had that life and he that had not the son of god had not life watch this the bible tells us listen my goodness the primary purpose of receiving jesus that means your coming to christ or your coming accepting the lordship of christ in itself is not even the end it is the spiritual system with which the life of god gets to you the bible says the life of god is hidden in the christ himself 
right the son of god so the way you receive that life is to receive the son of god that's why we preach that's why souls must be won so it's it's not just trying to save people from going to hell alone it's the spiritual system with which the divine life gets to them i don't know if you understand what i'm saying now because if all that there was to being born again was going to heaven you would have left immediately you gave your life to christ so the technology is of course it secures your eternal destiny but the bible says god gave us life but that life is hidden in the son himself so that until you receive the son you cannot have life meaning you can be in church for years are you getting what i'm saying be around christian people for years but if you have not received the son it's impossible for you to have that life there are all kinds of life you can have your biological life you can have an occultic life sponsored by the agency of another spirit but if you are to have the very life of god so way god's quality and class of life you must embrace his son embracing the father will not give you that life hear me embracing an angel will not give you that life embracing revelation will not give you that life are you getting what i'm saying you must know what ministers that life it says and the life the office of the son of god jesus christ is the only means through which that life can be communicated how many people are in church they've been in church for years but they do not have this life of god because they have not embraced they are aware that the son of god exists are you getting what i'm saying they are aware that he died but they have not received of his life and the bible tells us that you receive now the question is what exactly is that eternal life what is eternal life really what is eternal life is it is it um is it a package that is given to us is it an inanimate thing that is just put in us is it a programming what exactly is eternal life i'll tell you eternal life is the presence of the eternal spirit of god in a man that's exactly what eternal life is eternal life is not a thing you are giving when you give your heart to jesus eternal life is the very entrance of the spirit of the living god to come and reside in you the extension as we call it in the greek alos paracletos the one who has come to be a representation of the ministry of jesus here and now in your life so my mortal body that if i come to jesus christ and i truly receive his son that life the only gate that's why jesus said i am the way not a way i am the way right so the spirit of life the very holy spirit can only find expression when you embrace the son this scripture is a clarification or an explanation of galatians chapter 3 right when you begin to read from verse 13 down the bible says christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law it says be made a cause for us look at me let me explain something to you do you know what makes the old testament old look up look up look up let me explain something to you do you know what makes the old testament old or when the bible talks of the old man he's talking about any entity that does not have the life-giving spirit is obsolete the spiritual language is old are you getting the point so it's not old because of time I don't know if you understand what I'm saying you know in the earth if, if we bought this two years ago we say this is old this is new in the spirit old is only compared to its quality with respect to the presence of the Holy Spirit that means an ideology is old to the degree to which the Holy Spirit is not involved in it again the reason why we call the ordinances of the past it's not just because a new one has come if the new one came and the holy spirit is not in it it will still be old are you getting what i'm saying now 
So what makes a thing fresh or new is not that it is happening for the first time. It is the very presence, the eternal life of God. That seed that conquers death, that conquers weakness. And the Bible so designed the body of Christ. Watch this. The body of Christ is supposed to be the vehicle that hosts the Holy Spirit. That's why the Bible says, for this cause, because people cannot discern the mystery, some are weak, some are sick, and some do sleep. Is that not in your Bible? It said there is a mystery of the body. The mystery of godliness, the Bible calls it. That Christ can dwell in a mortal body. He said if you do not discern it, you will be weak. You will be sick. And you can even sleep. Meaning that immortality is only a possibility because of the presence of the eternal spirit of God. But the, the, the factor is this. Um, in the kingdom, there are two realities. I want you to write this down. What I'm teaching you tonight is powerful. You will walk in the glory of God in supernatural dimensions if you understand what I'm saying. There are two realities that every believer contends with or walks with. Number one is the reality in Christ. The reality in Christ. The beginning of the experience of the believer in the New Testament starts in Christ. Outside of Christ, there is no initiation into the realities of the New Testament, right? The, the, the whole New Testament starts, the pivot on which our ministration of life is built upon is in Christ. In Christ. In Christ. In Christ. Never alone. For with God, all things are possible. Outside of Him, many things are not possible for in christ we are complete for in christ we are perfected are you getting the point now but then there are realities in christ for instance we are seated in heavenly places the bible tells us in christ the other reality is the experience of that truth here and now the experience of that truth here and now you can call it the reality in Christ and then the experiential reality. The Bible tells us all through the New Testament all that we have become in Christ. Many times we do not understand why Apostle Paul when he makes certain statements about the believer he adds in Christ and then we do not understand his communications some of us have been taught and maybe some of us sincerely misled that the moment it has happened in Christ, it means that the, the experience of it is manifest here and now. That's not true. Paul himself speaking to the Hebrew church in chapter 2 begins to clarify, right? And he tells us certain things. He tells us we do not yet see all things. Let, let's turn there. Paul gives us a contrast that will help us in our spiritual growth. Hebrews, are you blessed tonight? I have the sun and I have eternal life. He who has the sun has eternal life. Two verse 7 and 8. Let's look at 7 and 8. Hebrews 2. Verse 7 and 8. It says, Thou hast made him. Remember, Paul was quoting from David. It was David, the son of Jesse, right? The king who by revelation into the mysteries of the kingdom wrote this. He said, To none of the angels, right? Has he said at any point, Thou art my son, you know this and that he did not put the world in subjection to any angel and then the bible says talking about man now he said you have made him or in in, in uh, talking about jesus now in his earthly work he says you have made him a little lower than the angels the word there was mistranslated it's supposed to be 
uh, angelio not necessarily like the beings but it's an expression of god himself many times you see the bible use the word angel to mean the very lord himself is that not true many times in scripture you will see that uh, and certain times the word angel is written in italics meaning that there is more explanation to it it doesn't mean an angel like a messenger from the presence of the lord but god himself so it says the word there is supposed to be thou hast made him a little lower than eloha god himself the almighty so jesus lowered in rank for the purpose of coming to become a man in the earth right it says thou hast crowned him now he's talking about his coronation this was the coronation that david saw the lord said to my lord right sit thou at my right hand until i make your enemies your footstool so he says it here that thou crownest him with what glory and honor and you did set him over the works of your hand verse 8 thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet for in that he put all things in subjection under him he left nothing that it, listen i hope you realize that in the new testament you are not anything until christ is first it are you getting what i'm saying now so every time you see the bible talking about man find out whether christ has become that thing if christ has not become it because he must be the firstborn in all things meaning the dimension that the christ did not show us a possibility of getting there is no point trying to get there this is what i'm saying are you getting the point we can contend even more than the earth work of jesus because he said this verily verily i say unto you he that believes in me is that not in your bible the works that i do in other words he said my eternal life is not compressed to four gospels if i stayed longer i would have unveiled more possibilities now if you have my life i authorize you to keep exploring the possibilities and immortality is one of the possibilities in that life divine health is one of the possibilities in that life the ability to live supernatural though natural is one of the possibilities we must be able to stretch the possibilities what are the contents of this zoe life what does it consist of what are the benefits why should i want to receive the life of god is like a product you are marketing to me convince me why should i want it what is the excellency of god's life over my natural life are you getting what i'm saying so the bible tells us speaking about man but that man was not just man like you that man was first the man christ are you getting what i'm saying now i know that when you read this scripture he says who is man that thou art mindful of him that man is not just talking about the natural man he's first talking about the firstborn and all he has called into glory because he died as the only begotten son then he resurrected as the first of the begotten and from there he had 120 other begotten sons and from there there are many begotten sons so jesus is no longer the only begotten son of the father by the spirit of adoption we have come into that sonship too are you are you understanding what i'm teaching you and so the bible tells us that when you receive of that son you receive of that life that life is like a drug the presence of the holy spirit the moment he finds expression certain reactions begin to happen watch this he opens you up to the realities so jesus in the new testament becomes what we call our pattern man jesus came and walked for three and a half years to show us an example of what the zoe life is are you getting it? he was the first that opened us up to the possibility of the zoe life so when we saw the things that he did we saw the mighty things that he did the first that had the spirit without measure and he did so many things and then he told us that uh -uh, it is profitable for you that i go for if i do not go i cannot send the comforter he will come and continue he will be an extension of my ministry the holy spirit is to us today what jesus was to the 12 disciples 
exactly what Jesus was to the 12 disciples the Holy Spirit is to us today that's the reason why there are no three thrones in heaven there are only two thrones in heaven but we agree that there is the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit because the third throne is in us there is a marriage that has been done never to be separated again are you, are you getting that now? it is him that takes us to the God class the presence of the Holy Spirit Are we, are we understanding what I'm teaching tonight? So the realities in Christ and then our experience of that reality. The Bible says something very powerful here. It said, Thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet. Right? For in that he put all things under his feet, he left nothing that is not under him. At what point did this happen to man? Jesus himself said this. When he resurrected, what did he say? He said, all hail, he told the disciples. He says, all authority, exousia, delegated power has been given to me. When he was in the earth, all authority, let me say something that looks controversial. When he was in the earth, all authority and power over all the earth was not given to him. I hope you know. Absolutely. That's the reason why when he was sending the disciples with his power he told them it will only work when you go to the lost tribe of israel don't go outside that jurisdiction is it not in your bible so when jesus resurrected he now said now the scope a coronation has happened to me right the same way it happened to adam that dominion mandate has been restored and he said now all authority has been given he says go in that light in other words in christ the bible says that we've been made to sit with him above all thrones and dominions and power and every name that is named both in this life and in the life to come that's what the apostle was trying to explain there but he leaves a disclaimer he says but now everybody say but now are you seeing in christ all things have been perfected but now the experience of that reality it says but now we see not what is paul saying now paul you just told us now that in christ all things are finished is that not true when jesus hung on the cross he said it is finished look at this the thieves that were on the cross one was telling him ah paraphrasing now we saw you do a lot of miracles is it that you can not bring us down from the cross another person was saying when you get here so they were all thinking of a lot of things but jesus said today he was giving him a revelation that in christ there is an experience so in christ you are healed in christ you are prosperous is that true in christ you are free from every yoke and every curse and everything but then translating that experience it does not just profit you in christ gives you access but it does not make it a reality that you can handle now there is a system with which you can take that which is in christ and make it happen here and now i hope you know that a man on a wheelchair the price for his healing has been paid why is he still on the wheelchair i don't know if you understand what i'm saying every sinner in hell today from the time jesus came the price for their salvation has been paid why are they in hell as merciful as the mercy of jesus is are you getting the point now so there is a difference between realities in christ and the experience the realities in christ give us a window to the things we can claim and the possibilities that are there on account of the zoe life that we have but that does not mean because you saw it in Christ automatically it will find expression here and now I don't know if you understand what I'm saying so you can read in scripture that by his stripes I am healed but here and now you do not see that perfected in your life right you've seen that we've been redeemed from every curse of the law and all the ordinances the, the handwritings and the and all the things that have spoken against us they've been nailed to the cross 
but you are watching right there at 25 there was a miscarriage your younger sister at 25 there was a miscarriage obviously a demonic pattern finding expression so did god lie no it's just that we have not been taught the system of making the realities in christ to become our reality is god speaking to us now so most believers just see oh in christ and then this is how they respond god forbid i have seen it in the bible i will never be sick i will never be broke and then you are getting broke you are getting sick because what you saw is not a lie but the ability to translate it here and now have many people not read that this sign shall follow them that believe in my name they shall what how many people are casting out devils how many do you know in my name they will speak with new tongues how many innocent believers do you know have struggled for years praying and fasting for the baptism of the holy spirit and seemingly it did not come how many times have you walked to a sick body with every confidence the bible says heal the sick right raise the dead cast out devils it says freely you have received freely give in christ in christ in christ how do we make that experience here and now because if we do not learn this eventually we are going to hate god because we think he's a liar a deceiver I'm very concerned let me tell you sincerely at how distant we are from the things we talk about the things we claim and the experience of the same are you getting what I'm saying there is too much talk in the body of Christ we must humble ourselves and admit that there are certain things we do not yet understand because there is too much talk about who God is what he can do we make such bold statements about God but when it comes to bringing God in the scene bringing his power here and now we begin to find theological explanations to excuse ourselves the Bible says for instance Jesus Christ the same when today and forever how many preachers do you know have said that how many of us men of God have said that how many of us have been able to reproduce that reality we must admit that there is something we are not understanding we must admit that there is a dimension of spiritual reality we are missing and let me tell you where we are missing it this is it Romans chapter 8 let me tell you where we are missing it very seriously and if we do not change a lot is going to go wrong eight verse five eight verse five in fact let's start okay verse five everyone read it says for they that are after the flesh do what do mind the things of the flesh but they that are after the spirit the things of the spirit verse 6 for to be what stop the word carnal there is the word sensual it's not supposed to be it's not a bad word in terms of carnal doesn't mean immoral or maybe in a negative sense it just means that when you are carnal the limitation the scope of your judgment and your assessment of spiritual things is either intellectual scientific or sensual that's the limitation that's the circumference it says to be carnally minded whoever lives his life from that standpoint that your perspective about life is just how one plus one will become two it must be logical it must be scientific the Bible says any man that thinks like that is already dying. Think about that. It says for to be carnally minded. 
is what death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace so a man can watch oppression in his life and say no i went to school what what sort of oppression i mean if if you fail you fail it's not any demon anything you see that and then he does not know that the whole world lies in wickedness that all that you see is not all that there is there are many people for instance who look up and say there is no god because they are carnally minded they they reason from the sensual realm let me tell you the church of the lord jesus christ in a bit and i teach you principles we just finished having financial principles but in a bid to break life down into an understandable format we are gradually coming down from that height of spirituality to reduce god into a carnal mathematical formula so there is a there is a mathematics that is responsible for healing there is a mathematics that is responsible for a and b and c and then we throw the holy spirit out and gather those informations and feel on the strength of these informations i can make it yet the bible says all scripture was inspired was written right by the inspiration of who the holy ghost the very spirit of life the spirit of truth the one that was sent to make the reality of this divine life true in us we have thrown him away and we have reduced everything if you cannot explain it like mathematics i don't believe i don't understand i throw it away it's gradually destroying us even our presentation of the gospel we are seeking to make sinners as though the gospel is not supernatural we try to beat it down and make it as mathematical as possible whereas the bible tells us that as you are speaking to people the law of the spirit of life is supplanting the law of sin and death how do you explain that mathematically so there are people carrying all kinds of demonic substances and all medicine can tell you is this is this this is that you see it happens at times there are women who based on the way they are formed they don't have wombs you just happen to be one of them god is faithful and all of that and then you sit down and believe that that's how it is the bible says to be carnally minded let me tell you the truth if we do not grow i'm not against intellectualism right there's always that saying that you should not be so heavenly minded that you are of no earthly relevance um, that is true but if you are truly spiritually minded you cannot be irrelevant to the earth are you getting what i'm saying see i read books i, I have studied a lot of people there is no man who works based on the truth of this scripture that will be irrelevant in this life this is the dispensation of spiritual men we have left dispensation of physical strength of giants we are we are gradually leaving the dispensation of intellectualism there are too many questions medicine cannot answer our governments are failing flawlessly because there is a principality that can sit down over a region and they try policies after policies here comes the generation of the spiritual men those who can tell the government you have done all you know to do can you finally pay attention to us those who changed the world in the bible were not just foolish people just intellectualizing everything these were men daniel daniel for instance he understood that persia there was a spiritual host of wickedness around that territory and he knew the key to sustaining a smooth flow of that government was prayer the moment he prayed the spirits of the medes and the persians were disturbed and they used individuals to pass a government policy don't pray just for 30 days can you imagine just 30 days of no prayer and we will wreck babylon and the king passed it and daniel said no i'm a spiritual man i'm not just i, I know i'm intelligent i'm a government representative but i remember the prayer of my fathers I, 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 are you getting the point i remember the temple of solomon it was solomon while dedicating the temple part of his request he said lord whoever faces this temple and prays hearken to them 
and he opened his window towards Jerusalem. He said, I know I'm intellectual, but I'm not so stupid. I know the mystery that brought me to this palace because I came as a captive. There was a mystery beyond mathematics that brought me here. And then they caught him. I can imagine other people saying, well, you claim everything is God, 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 God. God, now let God save you. And the lions were roaring. Brothers and sisters, that was physical. The lion is a fierce beast. But there was going to be a playing of the spiritual. The superiority, the excellency of the spiritual. As soon as he stepped in, an angel came. Said, Daniel, so you have not forgotten. You have not forgotten where you come from. How many of us have forgotten? You see that? There are so many people. Talk about God right now. They become irritated. If you talk in church, it's okay. But you talk about God outside to people. They just say, Kai, I beg, Jare. You are talking business. You are trying to scatter everything. As though God is the reason why all things will not work. Let me tell you. If you ignore God in any aspect of your life, get set for a shock. Because the realm of the spirit is still alive and strong. How many ladies think they will marry because they are fine? They get up around, they don't pray, they don't listen, they say, God forbid, yeah, I know that, I know what God gave me. Be celebrating there until you find out that you are 45 years and as pretty as you are because there, there are realities in the spirit, my brothers and sisters. There are realities. I got a testimony from, I got a testimony from um, a ministration we went for in Kaduna that, that, that blessed me one of the pastors um, came over to my place yesterday and he was telling me when I went for the meeting a woman was pregnant brothers and sisters watch this at least biology tells us I'm not a doctor there are doctors here um, so how the child is supposed to be formed eventually for reasons they cannot explain the child started turning mysteriously no the child does not turn mysteriously something turned it let me tell you the oldest man in the earth is not up to 120 there are spirits that are millions of years you call satan a liar you are right you call him a deceiver you are right you call him a fool you are very wrong satan is old are you hearing that absolutely you know sometimes the way people just talk me god forbid the right spirit can do this and that and that it's not all about this it's not and and while you are talking the realm of the spirit is just watching you how old do you know in bible days all of us are not even up to teenagers right now right yet the ancient spirit of god gives us a prescription about how to live and he says if you want life and peace be spiritually minded be spiritually minded do not let education do not let intellectualism, money or anything take away that spiritual factor. It has nothing to do with a man of God. It is the key to life and peace. We have thrown the Holy Spirit. We feel he's only relevant in church, right? So when you go to your job and all of that, people say, now let's, let's, let's be real, let's be real. While the, the Bible says, I am the truth. I am reality. When God began to build and train me, God made it a necessity and he let me know that forever in my earth work, the Holy Spirit will be and will remain the mystery behind any impact, any transformation. You see that? For me, the spirit of the living God is not just one nuisance that you have to embrace so that God will like you. He is what you call eternal life. If you are not aware of that, be aware. Eternal life is not what he brings. His very presence is the life of God. Jesus never became the Christ. He was the son of the carpenter. He could die. That's why his parents ran away with him. But when the spirit of God came, he made him the Christ. So when the Bible says in Christ, it's not just saying in Jesus alone. In Jesus, yes, but together with the spirit of life.
Look at what we have taught people about faith today. Look at the, the nonsense that goes on in the body of Christ that we call faith. Right? We teach people all kinds of experiences as if it's voodoo. That's why it's not working. Let me tell you, faith is a product of an encounter. When the Bible says faith comes by hearing, do you hear what you read? Answer me. You see, we need to examine. It was, talk, it was a spiritual language. It was not even just talking about hearing with the ear. There is a quality of spiritual perception that an encounter brings. And that's what produces true faith. Because when the Bible says hearing and hearing by the word, at that time, there was no books like this. King James had not authorized this. So what did they call the word? The days that are coming will be fierce. The days that are coming will be spiritual. Right now, have you seen the way the world is going lately? There is no embarrassment about spirituality again. Is that true? Everybody is opening up. It used to be in secrecy before. But right now there is an open confrontation. It's like everybody is saying, Kai, I'm not hiding it again. I'm gay. Simple. Kill me if you will kill me. I've... It's not today it has been like that. Another person is saying, it's not only you, two of us too. Another person is saying, let me tell you, I've not been a real Christian. This is my charm. Oh yeah. You see, everybody is confessing one by one. One by one. The meaning of that is, darkness is about to reveal itself publicly. Right? And it will bring everyone in a position to sustain a spiritual system to be higher than it or become a victim. Someone is building a house with blocks and cement. When you are about to complete it and give thanksgiving the next week, one small wind will just shake and you will come and not even see the two cores of blocks. It will scatter everything. What sort of wind is that? Is it now wind started? How many hurricanes are on right now and scientists say, they watch from space that before the hurricanes comes, they see images of spirits doing things from the sea. Minutes later, you see all the animals running. They are still spiritual, except human beings. Disaster hardly meets animals there. They run away and leave us. We are there trying to make money. We are dead and we are dying like chickens. This is a spiritual generation. Listen, this is a generation where it's no longer the issue of are you a pastor or not to be serious, to be spiritually minded. The Holy Spirit is the advantage of this generation. I am convinced that we are the generation that will return Christ. Yes, I am convinced. The Bible specifically talks about a number of things that as we call it that omega generation there are certain happenings that will characterize our generation hallelujah that we discern spiritual things let me give you an instance hold on let me explain something how many people in church today have thrown away the sacredness of being a man of god and the fivefold ministry in an attempt to balance these bossy things men of god do on stage right there are so many people who now challenge their pastors, challenge everybody. Are you the only one who will preach? Are you the only one? We have a democratic church that can vote out, throw out pastors because of policies. Have you read in 1 Samuel, I can't remember, I think maybe chapter 15 or 13. One time when Saul, is that true? When Samuel told Saul that they should go and have a solemn assembly, is that true? He was coming to make a sacrifice. They gathered the people, it's in your Bible. And then Saul told, the, I mean Samuel said he's coming at so and so time. And he didn't come. And they waited for him, they waited for him, they waited for him. After they waited for him, people were scattering. And the ego of the king, Saul, was, was at stake. And he said, Kai, this guy is not coming. Let me what? Offer the bond offering. 
as soon as he offered the bond offering samuel came and he said well uh I'm, I'm sorry honestly i was afraid it's not like i wanted i need to i didn't want to do it the people were disturbing me and since you were not around i thought since i was a king let me do it and samuel said you have done foolishly he said if you had allowed me to come god would have established your throne so it would have now be son of saul not son of david he said because you have done this the kingdom is taken to you for god has found another man after his heart just for violating the priesthood how many people violate the priesthood today and they don't care right all kinds of people any man can get up at any point lambast any man of god write any article and speak and believe he will go scot free go and read your bible it's because we have become carnally minded we don't even know what it means to be a man of god we think being a man of god is choosing the vocation of preaching right so that when one walk or the other doesn't work or maybe you read something that you felt is, is not lucrative you just say talk it's okay at least you are preaching you see this is our mindset so we do not we have thrown the sacredness that is in the altar there were times in the bible that when a priest and a prophet was not available to do certain things they left it there have you read about Uza in the bible i'm showing you how we have fallen from understanding spiritual standards the bible says we do not discern the body of christ and many people have received casualties because we do not know how the body was supposed to operate right remember that there was a time when the ark of god was being carried back and then he was about to fall and an innocent man called Uzzah, for his sincere love for God, wanted to run and just block the ark. What happened to him? He died instantly. Have you read your Bible when Miriam and Aaron looked at their brother and said, Kai, see you, you are our younger brother, don't open eye for us here. Is it only you that God will speak to? Huh? We were all born by this and that and Moses didn't say anything. What happened? A cloud came at once. Miriam became as white as snow white as snow right and Aaron Aaron it was just because of the priesthood position that shielded him we have lost touch with spiritual mysteries because we want to do everything carnally when they tell a man that God is able to do a miracle for you and that in 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 five months God can open you to fountains of blessings you know they look around and say eh, i know it's not like i'm saying god cannot do it but you see we have to calculate how a will become b and how c will become d look at how people try to run ministry today right they try to run ministry in all kinds of funny ways look at how people try to generate finances for ministry when you see that you know that we have hopelessly lost touch with spiritual reality how did they build the tabernacle in the old testament because they were there for 40 years in the wilderness how did the supply come how did their clothes grow with them and their sandals today if we were before the red sea this is what apostle joshua selma would have done engineers where are you the spirit of bazalel and then we'll start constructing a bridge we're saying that if i'm a prophet in five years we'll cross this red sea see that that's how we would have worked that's how much we have reduced god that's exactly what we would have done and then the engineers come and we say okay let's start doing everything let's start architects come let's start and then where are the kingdom financiers and then prayer department where are and then we keep praying and god says is that all to me and then after five years we say now you will cross the bridge slowly and while we are crossing we'll be singing choruses and when we reach there i will put a menu a monument prophecy walked into motion by apostle joshua selma shame on us because we call that the old testament we laugh at them we even say they are a shadow of us are you joking read hebrews 11 there are men who in their humanity we cannot even touch their shoes yet they, that's the old testament we are very quick to say it's old we have done away with it but we have not done one tenth of the things that they have done 
is in your Bible. People invoke angels to use hailstone and stone their enemies. When was the last time you saw that? When was the last time you saw angels pursuing Boko Haram with hailstones? You are laughing. It's a serious thing. Look at bomb blasts happening on around. And there are men of God all around. And we claim we are anointed. They even put it on our posters when they invite us. Anointed man. Joshua Selman. Shame on us. Let me tell you. If this is what we think will bring Christ back, we are joking. How many barren women have we been unable to solve their problems? Look at, look at Jesus. Jesus inspires me. These guys who were with the guy that was crippled, they knew that if they could only see Jesus, that situation would be over. Is it not in your Bible? And they said, let's tear this man's ceiling. We will explain it to him afterwards. Today we brag and compare ourselves with ourselves. Is that true? And do a lot of carnal things. There is almost no difference between what we do and the supernatural. Or and, 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 and that of unbelievers. If I stand right now and I minister to Sam and he falls under the anointing, people shamefully write an article and say he's using witchcraft. Where did we leave our spirituality? Is it not in your Bible that Jesus with the divine light walked through people on a cliff? They were trying to kill him. He walked through them like a spirit. Where is that generation? I wanted to show us a video. It's just that um, we, we, we didn't have it. I didn't discuss with the media. Would have shown us that video um, of Patricia King. Right? I know they don't have it. They may not have it now. Otherwise, you would have watched the video where oil was coming directly from heaven. Real oil, physical oil. You would have seen the foot of real angels. That you are not pressing into God doesn't mean some other people are not. The divine life. We shout Zoe. We shout Zoe. But there is nothing Zoe about our lives. If they shoot me, I die. Zoe. Right? Every, ep every epidemic is in the society and it embraces me. Zoe. Now, I don't say this in a derogatory way. I'm saying this to challenge us. I guarantee you, if we learn how to receive that Zoe life, you will watch HIVs get healed as if they do not exist. It will no longer even be a prayer point. The more I see people line up for counseling, I don't rejoice to say, wow, it means I'm an anointed man. I look at people line up for counseling and I bleed in my heart because I say, shame on us. It means we are doing very small. A sign that we are doing so much is that the people in the church should be so impacted they should now go out and begin to transform people but today we say wow i had a crowd hundreds of people to to mean that ministry is moving forward wrong parameters because there is nothing spiritual that we can use to gauge our standard who is god speaking to tonight where have you reduced god let me tell you one day maybe i'll come in the night i'll bring a chair here one koinonia We'll just sit down and we'll discuss. And I'll share with you some of my encounters when God began to walk with me. Some of you, if I share it as you are seated now, you've seen me every day. You've even eaten with me, but you will not believe it. Because you say it's a lie. Encounters with angels. All kinds of spiritual encounters. Because I believe in him. I believe in him. I'll never forget the first time I had the audible voice of God. Let me tell you something. If you hear God, you must have faith. You see that? It's not about maybe I'm trying to calculate. You must have faith. Listen. At the, at the Mount of Transfiguration, when Elijah and Moses appeared, what did Peter do? Peter recognized them immediately. Had he ever seen them? Who told him? He said, what? I see three people. It's a privilege. That means I have questions to ask. Let's prepare three beds. One for Elijah, one for Moses because he thought they came to pass the night with Jesus and discuss a lot of things. When an angel appeared to Mary, Mary was not afraid. Meaning was a natural occurrence. It was the salutation she was afraid of, not the angel. 
Today, if somebody says he has seen an angel, say, I beg Jerry, angel, where you think angels are just like that? Yet the Bible says, Are they not ministering spirit? I'm showing you why we have become carnal. We threw away the Holy Spirit. We are gradually kicking the Holy Spirit out in a bid to do what we call word, 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 word. Right? Word, word, word. Just the word. Give it the word and, and don't give me anything else. There are even people who reject Jesus and say, just give me Bible. Give me Bible, Jesus, go. Once it's not Bible, even Jesus should go away. What are we saying? And the devil likes that theology. If it is Bible you want, Zondavan, keep publishing. New versions keep coming out. And we keep carrying the Bible and we convince ourselves that because we are holding Bible and reading it, we are growing in the world. But we are becoming carnal. That's why death is rampant. It is that carnality. Do you know that our forefathers were more spiritual than us? Is that true? Witchcraft in the village is not a shock. An average young boy in the village has seen some form of witchcraft. So if they tell him somebody can appear and disappear, he will believe it. But in the church, ah, if I disappear here now, now, in this place, finally the article will be complete. The article you have been writing, you will pay New Nigeria tomorrow morning to publish it. Confirm. Hey. Which is on suit. Yet we talk about the mighty army that is rising up. Mighty army. Where is the army? Truly there is an army that is rising up. But let me tell you, our level of transformation is slow. We are hardly becoming like the Christ. There is, there is a standard that has been measured for us. And the greatest of us is just a step out of the cave. We must sustain a technology to hurry up and to catch up. The church called spiritual growth prosperity. Since every other spiritual thing like healing and the rest is very hard, we have left it and then remedied it with money. So when I come in with a nice suit and I come and say, am I, is the word not working? Let me tell you the truth. If that's what you think, you go to a meeting where you see people popping champagne of 100,000, which, which pastor or which Christian can hardly do that in Nigeria. There are people lavishing resources. We have reduced ourselves and match our spirituality so if i come out with a jeep if there are five jeeps that are lined up here you say man god is in koinonia what five jeeps is here oh. in bible days men were called generals on the strength of heavy capacity in the spirit one man will threaten a nation not a politician but Elijah, not in a radio station, he made a declaration to the heavens. He vetoed the prayer request of everybody and said, me, I speak, there will not be rain. Not God revealed to me. I stand in my office over this territory and I said, there will not be rain. And he went to bed. It was by sorcery, Jezebel found out he was the one and she swore to remove his head. How many men of God have disgraced themselves on television? How many men of God have disgraced their ministries in newspapers? How many men of God predicted that 2012 is, is rapture? Huh? How many? You see, we, we, we just showed the whole world that we have been lying for years. Instead of even keeping it quietly to now be pressing for forgiveness and transformation, we now went on air to publicly embarrass ourselves. Gotta be more, gotta be more. It's gotta be more than this. It's gotta be more, gotta be more. It's gotta be more. Today, people talk about the anointing, but they do not even know what the anointing is. No, at all. I tell you, many people do not even know what the anointing is. We have reduced God to prosperity. Because that's the only physical show of progress. Right? We have left the harder ones like healings and speakings over nations 
and forcefully bringing people to the cross those ones are very intricate you can't fake those ones so we have thrown them and then we ran to the easy ones we make money and make two and two together and then we now say it's working it's not working no we have to be, admit this thing and press into god part of my goals in life is to so align to the holy spirit that my life becomes a true expression of the divine life i was told about one or two cases of some women here in this place who are here right now right i think one of them is a miscarriage issue i'll minister to her shortly and then another person the question is if that happens in your church what will you tell them i know what you will tell them i know what you will tell them you don't have faith if you have faith you will provoke my oil there's no problem with my own end it's you that don't, you are liars we are must be a generation that can present christ to the world in his fullness i truly believe i will be part of those people with all my heart i desire to see the fullness of his glory find expression i have received the son and that means i believe that his life is in me but where is that life we are only seeing fragments of it fragments of it but there is a revival that is coming this will be a revival of the spirit himself when the spirit of god will start schooling people by ourselves because all the schools of ministry we have done and everything we have ended up making people just like us the spirit of god in these days the lord has started revealing this to me throughout last week i've been under an intense anointing right from when i finished the, the financial series and the holy ghost told me he will personally begin to teach people as many who are interested there will be such a move of the spirit i'm telling you god will begin to tutor people and the more you see him the more you will know preachers are lying the more you encounter him the more, the more you will know that people are sincere but liars the lord is revealing this to me this is how god trained me god taught me so many things secrets in the bible there are times that i will the lord will be visiting me and his presence physical cloud i'm not talking of some spooky vision that people lie about real cloud like a fog will fill the room and i'll lie down there and the pages of my bible will be turning by themselves to certain scriptures i hope you believe it hallelujah we have reduced god we have reduced God. Is this is too bad to an extent that if somebody on a wheelchair stands up, people look and they say, Kai, who knows him? Look at how you put pressure on men of God. People come for miracle service. We have to be asking them, Where are you coming from? So that you don't think that they organize things around. It's a shame. It's a shame. He says he that has a son has life has life look at what jesus did an example of what we should become jesus five loaf and two fish he multiplied it everywhere he went he was doing good everywhere we go we are doing bad or at least average and yet we claim to have his spirit there are people who even brag and say i have the spirit of jesus without measure where is it where, where did you keep the spirit of Jesus without measure? There is no sincerity in our pursuit of God. We tell a lot of lies. I was teaching a school of ministry students yesterday. And I was telling them that the reason why many people do not grow is because we lie. I can fake it now and say there's somebody here. You have a stomach ache and somebody will arise. And because I did not minister in truth, my lie will... Do you know that you can lie for a long time until it looks like the truth to you? How many people don't pray? They come on stage and run their mouth and speak nonsense. I am a prayer warrior. But there is a, there is a touch of the throne that comes on every man of prayer. It follows their teachings. It's like a spirit. It's like a finishing on your words. If you are a man of the altar, it truly, that fire, it's not just the shouting. There is a communication of life. How many people claim they are prayer warriors? and they stand and speak and while they are speaking you die spiritually until you start sleeping physically 
because there is no life that is coming the question God is asking you is why did you stop believing in me many of us did not start like this God is speaking to us many of us when we started we were spiritual we meant business with God eventually as we started getting some results in our lives we have thrown the Holy Spirit out now we are left with letters convincing ourselves that because we are reading scriptures it means we are growing spiritually do you not see the need in our world today there are people with HIV cancer there are people in need of the Zoe life that we claim to have we claim to have Zoe I am an ambassador of the kingdom then demonstrate it he said when I came to you I did not come in the excellency or the eloquence of speech because I know the danger that it can do to you but when I came I came in a demonstration I came to prove to you I came to bring the Jesus of your Bible to be made manifest here and now ah, this is the theme of my life that everywhere I go I become an expression of his reality that no matter how you do not believe in God when I show up you can at least see something that convinces you of the reality of the Christ right now demons sit in our congregations while we are gyrating and singing and worshiping they are joining us in the worship because there is absolutely nothing that can kick them out when we finish we say Kai it was a wonderful service together let's share the grace and they join us and share the grace demons mock men of God all around and we give all kinds of explanations for it do you not see what is happening to the body of Christ but the Holy Ghost revealed this to me that in the seasons that are coming personally he's going to start leading men into strange encounters and tutorials where in a sleep you will see a strange man come to you and begin to tell you right I want to teach you the mystery of spiritual power and when you wake up in the morning like like Solomon an intelligence you cannot account for all of a sudden this is how this is how God trained me oh this is how God trained me I remember a time in my life when I was sleep in the night this happened for almost two months and at least one of God's generals will come to me in dreams explaining to me their perspectives I remember many of the people that have browsed and have taken from their lives I remember a man called Peter Tan the first time I would meet that man was in a vision the first time I ever saw Apostle Paul he was in a vision I didn't even know he was the one I just saw a man who was short and bald headed after speaking to me then I asked who are you and he didn't respond to me he moved a while and then he turned and said Paul the first time I would see the picture on the internet I said this is the man I saw yet we know we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses the name koinonia was a revelation it's not that I just sat down and said Kai what should we call it now no no right now everything we do is sensual and carnal the exact blueprint and the things that we are doing in this ministry were a revelation a revelation by God it was the spirit of God that revealed to me the secret of church growth now I'm not saying I'm throwing away materials and all of that it's good I've, I've, I've taught us to build ourselves but I'm saying, Koinonia, hear me. If we throw away the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, let me have somebody here, just one person, anybody. You're a visitor, you're a pastor. Don't worry. You came all the way. Or you served in Jigawa and you're here right now. Your face is new. The Lord will use you greatly. I know you came with a hunger from your heart. I will use you as an example and may that example be your experience. Huh? Hallelujah. Watch this. This is how God designed us to walk. Never separated from the Holy Spirit. If you are looking for women, look for it with him. If he approves it, then he's right. Are you hearing what I'm saying? 
if you are talking about ladies let it be with his presence if you are eating let it be with him see let me tell you something the holy spirit is not a person you leave and then when you come for koinonia oh sweet holy spirit i i love you and and all those things we say i i love you you are my all in all you are you are this and that and, and all those kind of things that we bring the holy spirit was sent literally literally to continue the ministry of jesus if you want to know everything the holy spirit should do in your life study jesus in the gospels the holy spirit is all that and more all that and more there was a time i said holy spirit now you have to what am i supposed to expect in your ministry and he told me he said study jesus that's what he told me everything you ever see jesus do to the disciples expect the holy spirit to do to you including revealing himself there was a day he wanted to reveal himself and he said who do men say i am one day the holy ghost will ask you who do men say i am say you are, you are the spirit of this you are the and then he says who do you call me and you say i don't know you and he says now right my name is the spirit of life and to you that becomes a revelation at once you begin to minister life because his words bring impartations when was the last time you heard the voice of god not the one you are lying about the real voice of god when was the last time the presence of god came into your room in worship let me show you where we have thrown him away when was the last time you locked yourself when was the last time you even went for retreat see some of you are just remembering that there's a word called retreat because you've forgotten about it you know advancement you don't know retreat unfortunately in the kingdom you must retreat to advance that you shut everything and you began to worship until the temple your temple now not a building is filled with his glory and songs begin to come look at what musicians write nonsense they, they write songs that don't bless anybody they just come up with songs the reason why we argue whether songs are scriptural or not is because most of them came from the belly of hungry people who are activating multiple streams of income when was the last time you stood in his presence and you began to worship until your worship became a song and you touched a depth in the spirit that resonated in your spirit when was the last time you went to minister man of god and you stood in that meeting and when you finished people were shaking they could not explain what happened they knew that something heavenly like the dew of the morning came upon them they may not even remember what you thought but they knew they carried the spirit when was the last time because of your teaching someone just turned and said lord i will seek you and lock yourself three days do that today in our generation and people say you are over spiritualizing things so god is not like that this guy came all the way from where from from jigawa state to come for a meeting because there is a hunger it's not a conference it's not a convention but hunger brought him right God must show us something in this generation. Otherwise, these games that we are playing will end up frustrating us. God must show us something. That's my cry as a man of God. I cry to God and I say, Lord, I don't want to do the ordinary. There is something you've got to show me. That's why I love my secret place. Those who are close to me know that my life is like a herbalist. My life is like a herbalist. You don't see me roaming around the street eating granite and moving around. I say, ah, it's a joyful day. No, I'm on a pursuit. I'm on a serious pursuit. I seek his face for a living. I seek his face for a living. I seek his face because my relevance is tied to his face. My relevance is tied to his glory. My ability to translate the realities in Christ let me tell you something my my goal i've seen it in visions but they have not happened i saw one time in a vision let me share with you one vision that i had one time i i say it jokingly but truly truly i had a vision and a ghastly motor accident happened ghastly motor accident as it was happening it's like i was caught up from somewhere 
a physical location with my body and all of a sudden i appeared there and it was just like a shadow like this just passed through those dead bodies and including the car there was a sound like the car the way it hit the impact it came back as though nothing had happened ah, may god bring us to those days May God bring us to those days. May God bring us to those days. A day when you speak to the earth to fight Boko Haram and let the ministry rest. You invoke the power of creation, the soul of the earth. And you find, is it not in your Bible where you see that many things happen to people? Flies came from everywhere to disturb the nation of Israel because God wanted his people to go. This bow and arrow we are using can only go so far. We are desperately in need of a spiritual generation. AK-47 can only do its best. But let me tell you, AK-47 is limited because Boko Haram and all the people, they know that it is now a spiritual affair. Traditional hunters in Meduguri have dared the military to leave them because they say they understand how to invoke the powers you see that the whole world is already crying for a supernatural dimension that dimension is coming even if you are not interested there are people who have pledged their lives to contend in the spirit for you to do that you must give up this mindset of trying to build a career in ministry because you have to be a fool to get to that kind of dimension but how many people are that willing? Bless you. How many people are that willing? How many people are that willing to see the power of God? Transformation and renewal is the key to making the realities in Christ to become a reality in your life right now. I made up my mind that everywhere I go to preach, I don't like people turning to me and saying, Man of God, your message was powerful. Powerful in what? I want to see how much the gates of hell was shut down as a result of that. I want to see how revival stepped into a city as a result of my coming. Not just that a great man of God visited a place. That's not enough. And this life is in his son. He who has the son has this divine life. But the divine life is useless if we just leave it in Christ. It must be translated to find expression. The more of God's life and God's glory transports itself from the realm of the spirit to your present life, the more you are fulfilling what the Bible calls the mystery of godliness. And then you become, as I would say, the envoys of his presence, carriers of his glory, carriers of his power. Then you will see the eyes of the blind open. Then you will see the ears of the deaf unstopped. Hallelujah. While I was ministering over the weekend, there was a woman who, I don't know if they went to wash her ear or something, and then the ear was blocked during the workers' conference of CDC. And I called the woman out. And standing face to face, I said, I can either ruin this woman's life with lies or give her something that is of the truth. One time, Benny Hinn was laying hands on people and they were falling down. And Ora Roberts looked at him and said, Benny, don't just lay hands on them. He said, give them something. Oh, fine. Can you spare 10 minutes for us to watch the video right now? Media is ready with the video. Okay, media. Just, just play. Guys, maybe you can sit down and then after that, you come up. Let's, let's give the media 10 minutes to play the video and um it's a video of the supernatural is to spoil you and then i'll come up and, and and wrap up very quickly hi we're in san juan puerto rico where there's an amazing outpouring of the supernatural taking place the lord is touching so many lives in amazing ways angelic visitation uh you, very unique signs and wonders which will actually show you in a few moments you'll be absolutely astounded at what the Lord is doing but it's especially touching the younger generation 
on this island who are getting so fired up for God. There seems to be an acceleration of souls getting saved, healings, deliverances, miracles, all those good things with people deepening in their worship and, and loving the word of God. And so it's a, it's a true revival that is hitting people's hearts as these signs and wonders are being poured out. So we're at the House of uh, Restoration and Mercy with Pastor Dennis Roja, and uh, it's just awesome what is taking place. Pastor Dennis is one of the most humble people that I have ever met. He's so precious, has just a small uh, work and a very humble work. It reminds me of, of, of where Jesus loves to hang out and he is at this church doing great things. Um, Pastor Dennis uh, was uh, in, in, in 1977 uh, he had his first visitation of Jesus. It was an absolute encounter where he could touch Jesus, hear him talk, feel him. Jesus came to see him. He had a crown on his head with every stone of the 12 tribes of, of uh, Israel. And that's significant because we're going to show you the visitation of the stones that have come to Pastor Dennis in this last year um, that confirm that vision that he had back in 1977. When Pastor Dennis received that uh, first vision that he had, it was after he had been saved and delivered out of a lifestyle of homosexuality. He was a, a transvestite, cross-dresser, and the Lord saved him. And after that visionary encounter of Jesus Christ, Jesus touched him on the head, and all the demons completely came out of him. He became so fired up for God, a fiery believer, uh, has worked as an evangelist for a number of years and even in this uh, past few years has been pastoring. But there's been a phenomenal outbreak of signs and wonders, including oil being poured out, uh, gemstones appearing. In fact, he has received over 1,200 gemstones, um, all, already different colors. Some of them are diamonds, some rubies, emeralds. Uh, there's uh, silver uh, and, and, and gold dust that's fallen and all different colors of dust, diamond dust and emeralds and sapphires and, and onyx stone. In fact, I've got onyx, um, little pieces of onyx stone right now, right on my hands here uh, because uh, we just dumped them into this whole barrel of oil that the Lord uh, gave uh, to Pastor Dennis in, in, in his church. It kept pouring out, pouring out. They collected it in a big barrel of oil. And in it is filled with little onyx stones, uh, which is one of the stones of the 12 tribes of Israel. And he was telling us that as people take the oil out to take samples of it, and it has this incredible fragrance to it, that it just keeps filling up. So ho ho however much goes out comes back in. Uh, right now in the current church that he's in, that he has a Bible open on the podium and oil just fills the pages of the Bible. It's filling the pages of the Bible and uh, little gemstones, little rough cut diamonds are falling out of the Bible onto the podium. And then as he squeezes the Bible, the oil comes out, copious amounts of oil. This particular oil smells like myrrh. It's got the smell of myrrh on the inside of it and it comes pouring off the podium into a uh, collection vessel that he has and at the same time these kind of um, manifestations are happening in fact he's got oil being poured down the walls of his church off the beams onto the floor onto the seats and it's just non-stop continuous pouring out of oil at the same time these manifestations are taking place um, there's souls being saved, there's people being healed, intense worship and prayer, uh, deliverances, people are being set free. This is truly a move of God and that's how you can confirm if a sign is really from God. It'll cause people to worship the Lord more, to seek Him more. The signs of salvation and healing and deliverance and all the things that represent the kingdom of God should accompany the signs and wonders if they're truly signs and wonders from Jesus Christ. It must bring our focus back onto Him. They will get crazy in love with Jesus more and more and more. I tell you, I'm so excited about what the Lord is doing. When the oil started dripping soon after that, um, uh, Pastor Dennis came into his building one morning and all of a sudden the whole place was filled with gold dust that had fallen on the floor. And that's when he first noticed the prints. 
He was so excited. The Lord revealed to him that this was an angel that had visited. And the prints that were on the floor, the footprints, were actually the footprints of that angel. They're about 16 to 20 inches long, I believe. And um, then uh, he had to go away. The cleaning woman came in, cleaned up all the gold, vacuumed up the gold. And so when he came back, the prints were gone. He was so uh, concerned. But the Lord said, I'm going to visit you again. He visited again in that way. And on the carpet were the, the two footprints of the angel. Once again, this time, he cut out the carpet, cut out the footprints to keep them. And uh, we'll just show that to you on the screen. Um, and it's just covered in this in this gold dust with diamond dust, silver, uh, emerald, ruby, sapphire, all these different colors. It's just absolutely brilliant. I know that the actual footage I don't think does it justice, but when you're here, you can actually feel the presence of the Lord all throughout this room. And so it's really an amazing time. Uh, he was also at a, uh, a, a prayer meeting with five men praying and they were uh, praying, and as they prayed, the Lord visited with an audible voice. And with the audible voice, the Lord said that he was going to give Pastor Dennis a gift that he had given to no Jew. And Pastor Dennis said, well, why are you giving it to me then? Because I'm a Gentile. And the Lord revealed to him that he was going to give him uh, a, a, a supernatural token of the twelve uh, tribes of Israel, the gemstones that represent the twelve tribes of Israel and that he had an assignment for him to do in that way and so then the gemstones uh, uh, came just dropped over the next month they start over one month from May the 1st of 2007 to May the 31st he had all 12 stones with the amber one being the last one when you see them in in in, in person they're just brilliant and causes a worship an adoration in your heart and awe of the presence of the Lord when you see them. Absolutely outstanding. 1,200 gemstones, over 1,200 gemstones have fallen. The 12 uh, special stones that were given to him, uh, representing the 12 tribes of Israel that he is embracing in intercession before the Lord. And the Lord has a special assignment for him in the reaching of Israel, I believe. And uh, many other signs and wonders, such as the oil and the, the Bible dripping the oil and the walls dripping the oil. But all of it has released an acceleration of revival, an acceleration of souls, uh, and, and an acceleration of kingdom power. And this man, uh, Pastor Dennis, I believe was chosen because he is humble, because he is faithful, because he has integrity, because he is unselfish, and because he is wholly devoted to Jesus Christ. As you can imagine, he suffered a lot of persecution. People don't understand. They think he's of a cult or whatever. But I'll tell you, it's not a cult when people are getting saved and brought to the feet of Jesus and into his heart. It's not a cult when Jesus manifests his healing and deliverance power just like in the Bible. It's not a cult when the word of God is being exalted. It's not a cult when the name of Jesus is being so beautifully honored and where the fragrance of the nature and character of God is seen. It is the kingdom. Behold the kingdom of God, because it is at hand. Uh, Peter said, as he prophesied in Acts chapter 2, he said, in the last days, the Spirit of God would be poured out upon all flesh. And one of the things that would happen as a result of that outpouring is that there would be signs and wonders and harvests. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Were you blessed? The goal is to... It's not just to get you so obsessed with signs and wonders. The goal is to show you that there are realities beyond your current realm. By the grace of God, one of these days, we'll just come and we'll dedicate about an hour and we'll watch a few videos of the revivals that have happened before now. It's important to connect with the moves of God and the things that he has done in time past. Hallelujah. It's very, very important because before he comes, brothers and sisters, I tell you, there will be a mighty church that will arise. All of these spiritual mysteries, tonight's message is just a spiritual awakening. It's to awake us from the slumber and to tell us there is more in God. 
that we no longer begin to just put our terms of work with God to money and marriage and power and mundane things. Thank God for these things. We just finished a financial series. But let me tell you the truth. God is looking for revivalists. God is looking for mighty men and women that he will do great business with. And I've made myself available. God knows with my entire life. You reign, you ancient Zion's king, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Oh, sing, oh, fountain of the deep, cry out, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Break forth, O oh Spirit of the deep, and weep, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Oh, sing, oh, sing, oh, sing, you are mighty on your throne. Forth the spirit of the deep and weep, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. 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 Oh, sing, you ancient Zion's king. We cry out, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Break forth, oh, fountains of the Lord, this is a cry from a generation that is desperate to see your power and your glory. We are tired of church and religion. We want to see the kingdom come. We want to see his power revealed. The reality of the Zoe life, the divine life, the incorruptible seed of the word of God. We want to become epistles of power. Break forth, O oh Spirit of the deep. Cry out, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. Oh, see, you ancient Zion's king. Cry out, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. Break forth. Fountains of the deep cry out, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Say, you are mighty on your throne. 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 We refuse to reduce your power. We step up the standard. Mighty on your mighty on your You are mighty on your You are mighty on You are mighty on You are mighty on You are mighty on your door. You are mighty on your road. 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 Oh, sing, you ancient Zion's king. Cry out, Kadosh. You are 
that can bring God to the sea. Stop preaching powerless sermons. Stop teaching just theology without grace. Stop exciting the people of God with no results in their lives. Father, thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit to heal, to deliver, to set free. There will be a separation. At the count of three, I want you to shout, to heal is the name in the spirit. And as you shout, please ushers, let's have those people right away. Are you ready now? One. Two. Three. Let there be a separation from this shout. Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. This shout of victory, shout of victory, shout of power, shout of grace, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out, your name thank you spirit of the living God you are mighty in the midst of your people thank you for this presence there is nothing we can do without your presence that mighty presence of the Holy Spirit responsible for signs, wonders, breakthroughs. You have gathered your people and you will visit us tonight. Hallelujah. In the next five minutes, we are going to be praying in tongues all over this place. And I tell you, chains will just be breaking. 
is already happening at the back. This road, this very road, the power of God is setting people free. This road. This let you go tonight must let you go tonight we insist in the spirit Hallelujah. whatever you came here with must let you go tonight hallelujah Jesus. Yes, Lord, you will visit your people. This is the pool of Bethesda tonight. The pool of Bethesda. The pool of Bethesda. There is a stirring. I know when something has been stirred in the spirit. I know when there is a stirring. I tell you, there is a mighty stirring. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. Yeah, yeah. has just disappeared a lady has been healed right now right now check yourself a lump in the breast I don't mean reduced it has just disappeared just like that 
Sende ke pola kapari ada ba. Kapa to prede bangsa kapa. Shana bata bako. Hallelujah. 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 There were things I planned to do, but right now something has been stirred up in the spirit. And let's just ride with it. Lift your hands. He has been made Lord above thrones, dominions, and every name that has been named. I'm about to challenge principalities and powers. The powers that has kept you bound. Many of us are under yokes and spells of darkness. I tell you, as you shout that name, we will invoke his presence. There will be a mighty deliverance. Mighty deliverance everywhere, inside and outside. At the count of three, listen. Goodness. At the count of three, you're going to shout that name. Many of our issues and problems are tied to demonic oppressions. But as you shout that name, the sword from the hand of Elohim will strike through your life and cause a separation between you and anything God has not planted. There will be mighty deliverances. I see mighty deliverances that will happen even outside. Are you ready? At the count of three, shout it with all your heart and there will be breaking of curses and yokes. Are you ready now? One. Hababakate prosotai. Two, get ready, get ready. The fire of God is everywhere. Three, I command devils, come out, come out. Yokes, be broken. Yokes, be broken. Yokes, be broken. Yokes, be broken. I confront powers. I confront principalities. Activities of witchcraft. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Outside. Outside. In the name of Jesus. Everyone under the influence. Of every power. That is not of God. I command those demons. Go. 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 I give the chains. Fall in. Fall in. I need a change. Fall in. Rekete ba 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 ba. I need a change. I need a change. Fall in. Fall in. Fall in. I need a change. Fall in. Break chains. Break. That's the command in the spirit. Break chains. Break. It must leave you tonight. Break chains. Hallelujah. Straight up, God is going to be breaking the chains of delayed marriage. Lift your hands, everybody. Delay. The Lord is instructing me to cause that spirit that came from all kinds of ancestral activities. Believe it or not, Wickedness is real. It has tied down many of us, even maritally, especially our families. Hallelujah. You're going to shout that name, Jesus, one more time. And as you shout that name, anyone under the sound of my voice, whether you or your family members, you may not even know that this may be an influence over your life. But tonight in this pool of Bethesda, as you shout that name, my God will visit you and tear apart anything that is causing a delay. 
lift your hands goodness i see many ladies who will receive their deliverance right now at the count of three with the clash of the symbol alone one two three now i cause that spirit i cause that spirit powers powers of darkness spirit husband spirit wife i cause you i cause you by the power of the holy ghost i cause you bring them out i cause you by the power of the holy ghost release their marriages Every spirit that you have been covenanted with, that is stopping you, make it take a day, make it take a day, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, bring them out. Gates of marriage, be open. Gates of marriage be open. Gates of marriage be open. Gates of marriage that has been tied down. Hallelujah. We are still going to pray. This is not all of it. Hey. Hallelujah. There must be a breaking. Right now it will happen. Some of you, it may not be directly on your life, but your family members. The sword of judgment is coming upon altars of darkness that say you will not marry. Lift your hands. My God, I thank you for the fire of the Holy Ghost. When I count three, shout that name. That power hey. must let you go. Hey. That power hey. must let you go. Hey. I come tonight with an apostolic unction. In the name of Jesus, hear my sound in the realm of the spirit. That at the count of three, let God's people go. One, two, three. Jesus. Let them go. I command the release. Hey. Exodus, Exodus, from this land of delay, Exodus, I prophesy, I decree, I declare, establish it. They must go tonight. They must go tonight. They must go tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This row, just lift your hands. Just this row, lift your hands. Because I see the angels of God standing. And I'm wondering why they are concentrated on this row. Listen, when I count three, I see the angels of God moving with cops, but they have fire in them and they'll be pouring it on people. It's still an aspect of deliverance. At the count of three, this will happen. Thank you, my God. One, two, three. Let the angels move right now. Let there be a movement, a stirring, a stirring. A stirring, a separation, a stirring by the power, the fire, the power, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Shake it up, break it up, close, bring them out. I hear the chains falling, falling. I hear 
the chains falling. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, 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 break every chain. Hallelujah. Gabriel, who is Gabriel? Gabriel. Gabriel. The Lord is ministering to me. Gabriel. I hear the chains falling. Gabriel. I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains Bring this lady. Chains break. Chains. Let her go now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Look at this lady has been tied down. Hallelujah. This is the cause of hardship on our family. There's nothing that they do that will succeed. It doesn't matter what happens. But right now, I instruct you because I see you in the spirit realm. Go! Go right now. Go by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let her go. The same thing is happening to that lady. Let her go now. Let her go. One or shall lay your hands on her. Both of them, both of them. Go. Go right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command in the realm of the Spirit. Go. Go. Pray. Hallelujah. Now listen. All the people in front here, God brought them out. I'm not speaking to them. I'm speaking to every spirit that was identified. You know my voice. At the count of three, I instruct you to let God's people go. At the count of three, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, you are leaving God's people now. One, two, three, go, 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 come out of them right now. Come out of them now. Bring that lady. Bring that lady. Hey! I hear the chains falling. This lady is acutely under demonic oppression. Acutely. Bring her. Chains falling. Hey. Hey. I hear the chains falling. Come. Just leave her, she will come. I hear the chain. I hear the chain falling. I hear the How can a lady do this? Chains. Come back. Come and kneel down here. Right now. Leave her. Leave her alone. Come right now. I hear the chain. You just leave her. You will see the power of God in this place today. Hallelujah. Listen. I want to pray for people with pain in the chest. A number of people with pain around the chest pain around the chest region hallelujah lay your hands there right now ulcer peptic ulcer chains leave her she will come Right here by the power of the Holy Ghost. 
please lay your hands as I pray for you listen a number of you are going to feel something just leave you when that happens to you please run and come out here and you will literally feel something leaving you when that happens let's have those people here hallelujah thank you Jesus lay one hand and lift one hand up and let me pray for you thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus just help me with a symbol right now in the name of Jesus be healed be healed whatever is holding you peptic ulcer be healed I command that spirit out of them now out of them now out of them now that spirit leave them now be healed be healed by the power of the Holy Ghost be healed be healed be healed in the name of Jesus now check yourselves check yourselves do what you couldn't do hallelujah I'm seeing someone with a severe pain on your kneecap just this kneecap very severe pain in fact it even affects you sometimes when you are walking where which of them how long has it been okay lay your hands there both of you pastor right you're a pastor okay no I, I, lay your hands that devil is a liar look at me what's wrong with you huh? I've been having this knee problem the bone is very tiny the bone is tiny and the load is heavy and the load is heavy on it yes. I even felt hold my hands it. it's okay bone grow in the name of Jesus grow I cast that devil. Grow. I command you. Grow. Grow. Lay your hands and I'll pray for you right now. As I lay my hands upon you, please test yourself and do what you couldn't do. Thank you, Jesus. Let the power of God come upon you right now. Please check yourself as I pray for you. Right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. God is doing miracles already. Check yourself. Any pain. Any pain, yeah. Just no, no, no. Come on, give Jesus praise. God is healing people right now. Any pain, any pain. Don't pretend it. Don't worry, God is healing you. Are you feeling any pain? Do what you couldn't do before. Look at this. Come on now. Look at this. Thank you, Jesus. Hold my hands. God is going to set you free. Hold my hands. We need to pray for you. Because I see you lying down. Touch that guy. Just look at me. God is setting your family free. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Ghost. What is this that I'm seeing? I'm seeing money. But it's tied with snakes. This is what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. The Lord is bringing financial restoration. Lord let it be. I stretch my hands. By the force of the Holy Ghost using him as a point of contact in the name that is above all names let there be breakthroughs in the name of Jesus God bless you God bless you Victoria Victoria I'm hearing the name Victoria please if I call your name or your case just hurry up we have a lot to do so that we can Victoria There are two victorias outside there are two victorias that are supposed to come outside where are you coming from outside here yeah? victoria there's one more victoria outside both of you are outside the lord will visit you how are you my dear 
Are you married? No, you know why? Do you know why? No, That's one of the reasons why you came here, Abby. Yes, Is that not so? Yes, you were praying to God and you told God to visit you, man. Yes, sir. Is that, do you know me? No, Have sir. Have we talked with you? No, sir. The devil that has stopped your marriage must let you go, right? Amen. Now. Do you believe that? Yes, sir. Because there was a time a man came into your life and he was, he looked like he was serious uh, for reasons you cannot even explain. Yes, he sir. just gave flimsy reasons and left. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you know why he left? I don't know. This is what I'm telling you. I see this all the time. I'm seeing the face of an old woman. It's not your face I'm seeing. This is what is driving men from you. It doesn't matter what kind of man comes. Something must happen and he will leave. Yes. But tonight, we see the chains falling. Hold my hands. I curse that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. I need to pray for you too. Lay your hands on your stomach. If I don't pray for you, when it's almost time for marriage, they are going to tell you that there is a cyst growing in your stomach. Because sometimes you feel pain. Is that not? Even now, even now pain, you are yes. feeling pain. Yes, sir. Especially during your period. Yes. The pain is very I severe. Know, and you have sometimes even irregular is when it's supposed to stop. It doesn't stop at that time. Yes, it is this thing we want to destroy. Hold my hands. Break chains. Break. You will feel like fire going through your stomach. The pain will go right now. Thank you, Jesus. Check yourself. Check it. Do hit yourself. Any pain. Any pain. That's the power of the Holy Ghost. I release you. We call your husband, not a man, your husband. Wherever he is, I connect you. You will come and testify in the name of Jesus. This year, 2014. I lay my hands upon you and I release you to your marital destiny. Break, break. Come, my dear. Where's your mother? Is she fine? I need to pray for her. The devil wants to put sickness in your mother. Father, for your mercy. I want to pray for somebody. Listen, this is a family and there is no reason to be embarrassed. That lady on pink, just touch her. Come. No, just where she, she stand there, look at me. Lift your hands and look at me. Just look at me. Father, as you deliver her, let the power of God go to her family. In the name of Jesus Christ, let the power of God touch you and set you free and set your family members free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Why are you all out? Eh? You are all Victoria. There's someone here. Please. Don't feel embarrassed. They took you to a harbor list. Listen. They took you to a harbor list and they gave you something to drink. Please, who is that person? I'm not saying you are bad. This is not, this is a family. Please. It's very important. The Lord is instructing me. I want to pray for you and break that thing. Please. This is a family thing. It's not even like it's just you. Please. We need to break this. There's, there's no reason to be embarrassed. Hallelujah. Can I pray for your mother? Hold my hands. Father, sickness will never return to the mother. I set you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come, Victoria. Look at me. May God visit your family. Please, this person I've spoken about, please, Make sure you come out. Don't, don't be embarrassed. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. They took you to a harbor list. They gave you something. One kind of... You are the one? You see the one? You are the one? 
this thing is affecting you. Wait, stand up. Look at me. Don't feel bad. Just stand up. Stand up. Let me talk to you. Look at me. If I don't pray for you, you will die this year because this thing is going to kill you. Are you getting my point? That's why I called you out. Please remove his glasses. Hold it for it. Let, me, let it not break. Hold my hands. Because this guy sees dead people in his dreams and he doesn't even know why. Hold my hands. Hold it with both of your hands. The power of God will come through your body right now and you'll be delivered. Blotting out every handwriting and ordinance. Right now, be free. Everything you have taken inside your body that is destroying you. Go! Be free right now. Sister, let me pray for you. Look at me. There is bad luck in your life. Everything works well for others until it gets to your point. Huh? Is that true? We need to pray very seriously. Even you, you are worried about your relationship with Jesus Christ. Huh? You know what I'm talking about, right? You see, listen, it's either you are for God completely. Part of the reason why a lot of people get into trouble is that you're halfway with God halfway with something else hallelujah tonight part of what will happen to you is that a fire will be planted in your spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ can I pray for you my dear look at me why am I seeing rings on your hand physically there are no rings but I'm seeing rings on all your ten fingers look at me I need to pray for you huh you need to be very very serious with God welcome home God loves you and he wants to transform your life huh? but for now you'll be delivered right thank you Jesus right now I curse this spirit leave her now I see you in the realm of the spirit and it's time for you to go take away this devilish thing you are put in her life right now out I hear the chains falling You are not standing in for yourself but for your elder sister God wants to visit her lay your hands on your stomach because what is happening to her will happen to you Lord I take out anything you did not plant in her sister's body even right now by the power of the Holy Spirit let there be restoration in the name of Jesus Christ I need to break the spirit of lust from your life. Huh? I need to break it. I'm not saying you're a bad girl. Are you getting my point? Hold my hands. Just look at me. You are a devil of darkness. Leave this girl now. Go! Out of her now. Break chains. Your eyes is open, but in the spirit you are blind. And God needs to open your eyes. That's why you are in a lot of confusion. Father, let her eyes be open right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I break the spirit of timidity from your life. And you too. Same thing. Same thing. Out! Leave her. God has not given us the spirit of fear. on your stomach just look at me Lord set her free from this pain something will come upon you right now and that demonic pain will go let her go Jesus. hallelujah hallelujah Where's the woman that came with her family from Abuja? 
Is she here? Quickly, madam, come with all your children. Please, all of them. Celebrate them as they come quickly. Break. Your time of visitation has come. That devil that oppresses you. Just give flowing strings. Please just play something for Hallelujah. Witchcraft. This is what is destroying the whole family. Witchcraft. This is not just the issue of prayer and fasting. This is the issue of deliverance out of this. Right? Where is the son? Come. Something comes upon you. You feel like something comes upon you. And when it comes upon you, you do a lot of destructive things. You will even have power that ordinarily you won't be able to have. Is that true? You feel that kind of thing? Yeah. You will be delivered. Yeah. Right? Amen. Madam, I need to pray even for the finance of the family. It's not like you are lazy, but you are suffering for nothing. Is that true? Please help us. Is this mic working? Hallelujah. Okay, don't worry. We'll just use one. Is that? Yes, sir. I need to pray for you. Huh? When someone works so hard, so hard and then in the end of it there is nothing to write home about it's an error but the lord will correct it my brother the lord bless you you're born again you love jesus yes, just you or your children myself and my children hold my hands my brother look at me jesus will set you free right now right you believe that hold my hands let's cast that devil of darkness out of your life Father, by your mercy, in the name of Jesus, go! That's the end. It's free. I need to pray for you. You're going to feel like fire from my hands to your hands. And within two weeks, you will have a major financial restoration. Two weeks. You believe it? Jesus, confirm your word right now. Out of her! Now! Out of her! That devil of darkness. I command financial restoration for you. Where are the children? Both of you. You love God. You are going to teach the word. You. Huh? This boy, he's going to love God and he's going to... You know this now. God has already told you. Yes, he has been... God has told you. He, he, he has, has been, been into it. He has, he has been, been into it. Yes. Because the Lord showed me. I saw him standing with a Bible. And the Lord says he will teach the word. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'll pray for you. You don't teach the Bible just with English. There is an anointing. Tonight I lay my hands upon you. Let that spirit of wisdom and understanding. Come upon you right now. Step into a new dimension. I open your understanding. To understand scriptures in the name of Jesus Christ. You love God, but we must pray so that because of the quest for establishment, you will not join bad people. You want to be successful, but what God does not give you, you cannot get. Huh? Because there are bad people around your life. You are a good person, but there are all kinds of bad people, and we must pray. Huh? Lay your hands on your chest. There's something that will leave you. You did not even know when you started fraternizing with what is not of God. But tonight, my God, let there be deliverance. You are literally going to feel something leaving your chest right now. Let him go. Right now. Thank you, Jesus. Restore this family, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Go and return with your testimony. Where is the guy that has been skipping from university to university? His sister brought him. Are you here? The last Nsuka. Bring him quickly. His time of deliverance has come. Everywhere this guy goes, spirits torment him. He has, come, and, come and stand here. This is your night of visitation. It's over. Look at this guy. Listen. I want you to appreciate what God is doing in this place. There are people whose lives are, I'm not saying clap. 
the greatest gift you can give anybody is not money is not car is to bring him to a place where he can find genuine restoration hallelujah how many universities come you are come are you not the one who brought him how many universities same university they've they've driven him twice twice you think it's normal for somebody to get admission twice unn right and yes, sir. god will deliver him Amen. come my brother it's not it's not like you are lazy huh it's not like you are lazy because i'm seeing something like foam on his mouth and you cannot even articulate it's like it's as if you are manipulated god is going to set you free you believe this yes lord you reign forever lord you reign forever i worship you hold my hands hold my hands look at me something will leave you right now and you'll be free let him go now lord restore to him the years that the canker worm has eaten restore to him the years that the palmer worm has eaten in the name of jesus christ restore to him restore to him let him rise up a brand new person I worship hallelujah if there's any case of barrenness here whether for yourself or for your loved ones please come out here if you're married and you're experiencing barrenness let them stand in the front if you're standing here for yourself please don't just be emotional we're not joking here this is very serious business look at me look at me listen let me tell you something and don't please don't find it offensive every case of barrenness is demonic what did i say every every i don't care what the doctors say whether they say there is a womb or no womb the the person who is having this situation may not be a bad person but i'm telling you it must be resolved spiritually hallelujah please keep playing you're tired play the strings ladies and gentlemen see the number of people standing for loved ones how many of you are standing in for yourself for your sister just look at me look at me she's going to be delivered right now where she is from me. don't worry just look at me just look at me let her go you are feeling something coming up on you right now let her go now by the power of the holy ghost whether they say fibroid or no womb is irrelevant i'm just telling you that this is a demonic issue but when god steps in you won't go back you can't go back to the way it used to be before his presence came and changed me just try to connect and hold your hands together and lift it up madam come let me pray for you look at me how many years and then he stopped we are going to pray look at me this is a family thing hold on because it's not only you who else my junior sister your junior sister has the same thing she has never had a child that's to tell you this is a spirit but as god sets you free he will set her free too Onegi kagi ekele di wigi onye ne mema onye di kagi ekele di wigi onye na poria look at me onye di kagi go and have your child onye ne mema 
Father, in the name of Jesus, I open up your womb to receive baby boy. You will come back with a baby boy. Lift your hands and sing for Please lift your hands. I'm going to pray for you. Whether you are standing in for yourself or for your family members, the fire of God will come upon you and that person in question will be released. You are standing as a point of contact. My God, I pray that from my left to my right, in the name of Jesus, let the angel of fruitfulness move across this place at the count of three. One, two, three. Right now, wombs be open. Wombs be open. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Miracle children. Take it for your loved ones. Take it. Take it from the realm of the spirit. Whoever you are standing in for, I command all medical complications. Go. All medical complications. Go. I cause fibroid. I cause every cyst. In the name of Jesus. All those who do not have wounds. We put brand new wounds now. Brand new wounds. In the name of Jesus. The fire of the Holy Ghost is burning a lot of things. Burning a lot of chaff. Every spirit of miscarriage. I curse it right now. I curse it right now. I curse it right now. The spirit of miscarriage. Every spirit that comes to eat up children in the womb. I arrest you. You are bound. You remain bound. Hallelujah. I prophesy to every one of you here. Make sure you tell your loved ones we prayed for them. That in the name that is above all names. They will not only take in. They will give birth like the Hebrew women. We forbid CS in the name of Jesus. They will give birth normally. No devil will eat up any child. There will be no miscarriage. And for those who have stayed a long time, we command twins, we command triplets. Let there be a restoration. I provoke it by the hand of God. Please don't think we're just entertaining. Prophecy does not just reveal. It creates. It creates. It creates. I tell you, a lot of things are happening. Pregnancy is not just when a man meets a woman. Mary said, be it unto me. We put miracle children in their wombs right now. From the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please go back to your seat. We see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. hallelujah now very quickly if you came here specifically for healing i want to minister to the sick right now specifically for healing or you brought someone sick now is your time please quickly ushers coordinate them so that they will line up very well you came here with any infirmity please If you brought someone now is the time to bring them out the worship team will lead us in a powerful time of worship as we rebuke that devil no matter how far you are wherever you are please find your way to the front you came here for healing it's called a miracle service it's not just a name
please i need to pray for sick people fast because we need to release breakthroughs in other areas there are people who your own is not sickness your own is breakthrough please just line up those under the anointing just leave them there is a pool some of you as you are standing here right now the power of God will even begin to touch you before we minister now we are going to do it very fast hallelujah Listen, it doesn't matter what your sickness is, right? The anointing is not just the ability to heal. It's the ability to bring solutions to any kind of problem. Are you getting my point? So while you are standing, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, I'm not going back the same. I'm tired. This is it. This is it. Worship team leaders, Bishop, please come help me. Pastor Williams, hallelujah. Please, those of you who are seated, make sure you are not just seated watching. Be praying in tongues. We will minister very quickly. In case you are seated and you have not written your prayer request, let's save time. Now is the time to start writing your prayer request. And our online community, those streaming online, please, they can bring their prayer request. Hallelujah. Father, thank you because of your power. Let every sick body be healed. Let every sick body be healed in the name of Jesus. What's our genotype? What's our genotype? I'm not her. Who brought her? Mother, where are you? Where's the mother? You are the mother. What's her genotype? SS. She's SS. Don't worry. We're going to change it right now. Huh? Not just her, but this is something that will need to happen in the family. There is sickness parading itself as blood condition. It's not blood condition, anything. Change this lady's genotype right now, baby. Let SS change to AA right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. And I cast the spirit of infirmity from her life in the name of Jesus Christ. Perfection in your body, in Jesus' name. Jesus. There is What's wrong with you, madam? Jesus. Hold on, please. Your son too is SS. All of you are SS. Huh? You too, you are SS. Hallelujah. Madam, don't cry. Weep not. For there is one who is worthy to open the book and unlock the scroll. Hallelujah. Your child too. Can somebody collect the child, please? So that I'll pray for her. He's sleeping, so just let him continue his sleep. Father, we change his genotype right now in the name of Jesus. And we rebuke sickness. Please hold my hands. I need to pray for you. There is a lot of poverty in your life. Look at me. Why do people hate you? Huh? Is that true? What? I can't understand why. How can they just hate you just like that? Look at me. The enemy has done this. But tonight God visits you. Change her story, oh God. Change her story. You will return with testimonies of dramatic breakthrough in Jesus' name. All right, let's save time. 
As I pray for you, as you go back to your seat, make we sure you check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Say Jesus.
Yes, Lord. You are the great go, go. and mighty God. Go. So greatly to be praised. Beautiful for all situations. You are the joy of the whole world. I say you are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised and beautiful for all situations. You are the joy of the whole world. I say you are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised and beautiful for all situations. You are the joy of the whole world. I say you are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Beautiful for all to the wage. You are the joy of the whole world. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Beautiful for all. Joy of the whole world. I think you are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Beautiful situation. Hey, you are the joy of the whole world. And you are the great and mighty God. You are the joy of the whole world, and you are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised, Lord, beautiful of all situations. You are the joy of the whole world. The great and mighty God. Go out of her now. So greatly out of her. To be praised. Out. Beautiful. You want to join be healed right now. I change that medical result. Email, email, oh, kaka.
of you are Gabriel. The power of God is going to come on somebody, a lady outside. There is one lady, the power of God will come mightily upon her. Please bring her in. I need to speak to her. The power of God will come very mightily on one lady. Very, very mightily. I can't remember why I called you people, honestly. But let me pray for you. your father where's your father is in this meeting where is he i need to talk to him you are the best eh? he's not around i mean he's here you mean he's in town he's in town he's not okay i thought he was around i need to talk to him go and tell him that the gates of delay has been shattered look at me look at me does it make sense to you what i'm saying go and tell your father that the gates of delay has been shattered Father, confirm your word. I give you praise. Your hands will bring bread to your table. You are a creative person. Make use of your hands. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to specifically deal with certain things right now hallelujah um, I'm not going to ask you to come out but I hope that they came out here we want to rebuke all kinds of incurable diseases I just want to take one or two minutes and rebuke incurable diseases because if we do not help God's people Medically, is incurable. HIV, hepatitis, all these satanic things around. Make sure you never believe these things and settle on them, believing that that's how it would be. So please stand up, everybody. Stand up, please. Please rise up everybody. We want to speak against every medical report that the doctor has said nothing can be done about it. And in case you are here and any of your loved ones is in the sick bed, please connect with them even as we pray right now. Hallelujah. Father, I pray right now specifically for incurable diseases we depend on you and we ask for your mercy without your mercy these people are on their way to death but I thank you because you are the resurrection and you are the life and right now in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands anyone with HIV in this place I declare be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ HIV be healed in the name of Jesus cancer be healed in the name of Jesus every form of cancer every form of cancer be healed in the name of Jesus every kind of hepatitis right now in this place I cause it to its root in the name of Jesus Christ hepatitis be healed be gone in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. For blood groups, we are going to deal with that one when I minister prophetically. Please lift your prayer requests. Pass it to the person at the last, at the last end. Ushers, please walk around all over this building. Hallelujah. Now the Lord is ministering to me. I want to specially pray for families with uncompleted building projects 
please find your way quickly and just stand here the lord wants to minister just one word i will speak i want you to believe i'm not saying you want to build a house please the power of god is touching people and changing uncompleted projects uncompleted projects please believe what i'm saying i'm not just playing pranks here as you're standing here the lord is going to set people free okay if, if there's no space just stand where you are and then i'll pray for you lift your hands everybody it will surprise you the bible says how that the hand of god came lift your hands the hand of god came upon elijah the prophet and he ran the bible says he overtook the chariots of ahas down to jezreel i want to pray we are going to pray for everybody prophesying speed but i want to pray because the lord is ministering to me specifically for building projects some of them are tied down because of finance some of them are tied down because of court issues some of them are tied down because of diabolic demonic things it doesn't matter what category sir Ogasa, god is going to visit you because your issue is it looks like it's money but it's not money this is witchcraft god is going to set you free are you getting what i'm saying lift your hands please my god i pray goodness there will be a lot of mighty miracles i want you to believe many of you are going to feel literally like fire it will come on your right hand it will come on your right hand in a very powerful way all across here right now the angel of the lord will move right now right now father in the name of jesus move right now everything stopping any uncompleted project your right hand the power of god is a prophetic language the right hand of god is power and by that power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus i command every uncompleted project be completed now in the name of jesus be completed now in the name of jesus every power stopping any building project i challenge you right now in the name of jesus every lack of finance responsible i command supplies from heaven supplies from heaven supplies from heaven supplies from heaven every land issue in this place every court issue we resolve it here tonight in the name of jesus christ go and return with mighty testimonies let the hand of god the finishers anointing let it come upon you and upon your loved ones a finishers anointing that unction that comes to finish what you have started receive it right now in jesus name god bless you please run back to your seat submit your prayer request very quickly hallelujah please listen there are a number of people here the lord is ministering to me mike can you play strings who is playing please play strings 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 just play strings hallelujah the lord is showing me a few people here please listen you had a dream and in the dream either a dog or a serpent beat you please come out there are a number of people in that kind of situation god is ministering to me that devil is a liar and what please if you, if this is if you're part of these people i've mentioned please come out a dog or a serpent i'm just flowing as the holy spirit is showing me because this is very demonic that lady is is, is one of the people and she'll be delivered right now no matter where you are hiding even if you didn't come out here as i pray 
the power of God will locate you. It's a very serious situation. Please stand up, everybody. Please stand up, everybody. Bala, you're just going to clash the symbol for me. I'm going to pray. Because this is a very demonic thing. The Lord is ministering to me. This is the deliverance of someone right now. A snake or a, or a dog, an animal, beat you in the dream. It didn't create any effect, but you may not know what it is causing to you right now. Goodness. I see a pruning fork. An angel of the Lord standing with a pruning fork. Hallelujah. At the count of three, as they clash the simba, there will be mighty deliverances here. And some of you in the crowd, as it's happening to them, it will happen to you. Hallelujah. Father, right now, let your power begin to move. Every demonic object in your body, right now, at the count of three, come out, jump out, and go. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Out of them. Out of them. Some people in the congregation, it will touch you there too. Out of them. Every foul spirit. I'm going to lay my hands on everybody. Out of them. 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 Please help them. Devil of darkness. Out of them. Out of them. Come out. Come out. Everything that has not been planted by my father that is responsible for your limitation. Hey, hey. I command deliverance. I command deliverance. I command deliverance. You will be delivered mightily. This is a demonic thing on you. Release her now. Release her now. Now. Out. Release her now. Release her now. You must let her go. 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 Let her go. Every demonic ring, every demonic chain, every demonic ring, every demonic chain. Let God's people go right now. Go. Release her right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. go now let her go by the fire of the holy ghost take off everything take your property pack your load on your mark get set go 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 Out of her by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out. I break covenants. I break yokes. Every act of witchcraft. I plead the blood and I set you free. Now.
Alléluia. Alléluia. Listen. This is the root cause of many problems in our lives and our families. Preachers have told us once you are born again, it's all right. You are filled with the Holy Ghost. You are seeing it by yourself that it's not all right. There is an operation of the kingdom that must separate you with darkness. Some of these people, what is happening to them is responsible for stubbornness, immorality, and we come and preach in church. We say, stop it. It can't be stopped till that devil gives way. Bring this lady for me. Let her go now, once and for all. Remove this demonic ring. I see a lot of rings on her feet, on her hands. Remove it and pack your load and go. 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 See, bro, you should thank me for what I'm doing. I'm preparing your wives and husbands. You just get up and come and meet a lady. And then you don't pray. You see why we tell people to be spiritual. That's why many people keep wondering. Why will a brother come to me and run away? Or why will a sister come? I break covenants. This is an usher. This is our own usher. Go. Go. I see you in the spirit. And I command you to go. This spirit that is tormenting this lady. The Lord is showing me. This thing has been in this family for 178 years. This is what God is showing me. It has nothing to do with her. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's save time. Have you submitted this? Father, let none of these people return with any influence. It must let them go. It must let them go. Hallelujah. So you see a student will write jam and write wayek and enter the school and all of a sudden become dull and people keep insulting. This child is not good. You think people just smoke because they want to smoke or they sleep around just because they want to sleep around? Brothers and sisters, there are influences and it takes the power of the Holy Spirit to keep the devil where he belongs so that the people of God can enter the reality of their inheritance. That's why you see people who keep testifying. Oh, breakthrough just started happening in my family. You may not know what has been limiting them. That's why here we don't just heal the sick. I told you the anointing is the power of God to solve problems. Any kind of problem. It's not just healing. It's not just wheelchairs. There are destinies that are tied down. And they need the power of God. You will be amazed that after you leave this meeting tonight, doors will just be opening. You will see how easy it is. And then you will know that something happened to you. It doesn't matter whether you came out here or not. Once you are under the influence of this sound, something is happening to you. Hallelujah. I want to pray on this request right now. Hallelujah. Many of you have communicated your thoughts and that of your family members right here. Please, if anyone has not submitted your request, do that very fast. As we pray on these requests, I don't care what you wrote here. May this be the last time you will see it. In the name of Jesus Christ, every Pharaoh and every Egypt that you wrote and dropped here, as surely as the Lord God lives, this will be the very last time. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands and begin to pray in tongues. 
Bishop, come, please, Pastor Williams, come as we pray on the request. Pray in tongues. Pray in tongues. Make sure you are praying in tongues. Visitation, oh God. Visit your people. Visit your people, oh God. Let there be breakthroughs. Visit your people. Visit your people. Visit your people. Visit your people. She break the ball, la 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 bash. Oh ne. She get it, get it, ba 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 ba. Oh ra ka ta ba la la bash. Please stretch your hands. Connect with us. All those online, they should connect with us. Lord, let this be the last time. Oh ne. Oh ne. Oh ne. Oh dear Lord. Thank you, Father. Because with you, nothing is impossible. With you, no request is impossible. Anything that is not in existence can be created. Father, we thank you. Because this request cannot defy your power. Thank you, Jesus. Because it is possible. Thank you, Jesus. We see the answers. Lord, we receive in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Because from this night forward, we we'll begin to see the manifestations of everything we wrote here. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for healing. Thank you for breakthrough for families. Thank you for jobs. Thank you for marriages. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. We celebrate you, O oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. We declare and we speak over these requests. We turn them into testimonies. We turn them into testimonies. We turn them into testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. If you're a minister of the gospel and you came you came from another place what i mean minister make sure you're a preacher minister of the gospel you're a ministry and you came from outside of this state please come out i want to minister to you right now hallelujah is there anyone like that please quickly quickly let's save time just come and line up here the Lord will ignite you tonight. Hallelujah. Do ministry with integrity. Do ministry with truth. Ministry is not about money or flamboyancy or manifestation or going on air has no nothing to do with that hallelujah ministry with integrity with the fear of the lord that who you are in the open is who you will be in the secret 
the secrets of the Lord are with them that fear him and he will show them his covenant I want to pray for you that God will characterize your life and your ministry with signs and wonders that struggling will end for you in the name of Jesus Christ lift your hands as I pray for you my God in the name of Jesus let something come upon them in the name of Jesus let something come upon them by the power of the Holy Ghost let something come upon them in the name of Jesus let something come upon them let something come upon them in the mighty name of Jesus we're about rounding up please rise up the prophetic ministration is the greatest part of this meeting as far as I'm concerned Please stand up everybody this is the moment i want you to shout amen we're about to open doors breakthroughs of all sorts in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah wherever you can hear my voice make sure that you shout a big amen please lift your hands the bible says believe in the lord and you shall be established he said believe in his prophets and you shall prosper this is not the doing of any man what you see is an election of grace when God calls people he empowers them there are vessels today carrying anointings that can change people's situations and change people's story hallelujah and I'm about to pray for you that something will truly open up in your life this is the part you get to receive lift your hands hallelujah Can you play the keyboard, Mike, please? Please lift your hands. I want you to shout Amen with everything that you have. Lift up your heads. O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, O ye everlasting door. Every gate limiting your progress in the name of Jesus, we shatter that gate into pieces. I shatter it into pieces, into pieces. I command gates, gates, gates. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Gates, I command, Ephata, be open, be open, be open, be open. Gates of marriages, gates of restoration, be open. Anyone trusting God for a job here, in the name that is above all names, I command miracle jobs now miracle jobs now miracle jobs now I provoke your destiny help us may they find you may they help you may they honor you for every limitation you have experienced in your life and your finances in the name that is above every other name I command breakthrough receive breakthrough receive breakthrough in every area of your life breakthrough in your academics breakthrough every result that is not your own we change it tonight we change it tonight let the angel of God go to every faculty every department we command change any family that has been victimized in this place any family that has been victimized in the name that is above all names whoever plan evil against your family we judge them this night let the sword of judgment rest upon evil to us let the sword of judgment 
whoever said your family will not lift up their heads may my God judge them may my God judge them hallelujah every ordinance of darkness every enchantment every spell that has been written over your life that you will not become what God died what Jesus died for you to become this night we blot out those handwriting we set those altars on fire those shrines on fire and we release you anyone here who has suffered delay of any kind I don't know what area you have suffered delay or your loved ones but I want to pray for you right now my Bible says and I will restore to you the years canker worms can eat time they can eat years of men's lives but I pray my God and my King right now I shout it in the spirit restoration 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 receive it restoration I prophesy I decree restoration of joy of peace of finances of opportunities hallelujah there are some of you because of your mistakes of the past certain things have happened in your life and like Samson many people are laughing at you and mocking you that will your strength return I want to prophesy to you just like the hair of Samson grew back I call forth anointings that left because of indiscipline I call back opportunities that left people because they misused it I call it back I call it back the God who changes times may he change times to your favor hallelujah now lift your hands there will be impartations right now it is vain to attempt to serve God without the empowerment of the spirit there are many of you who are passionate about the things of God what you need is fire in your life what you need is grace what you need is authentic unction I'm going to pray for you let the men around you know you are serving a living God lift your hands it's going to clash the cymbal and I'm going to begin to speak and there will be impartations of gifts prayer altars will come alive dry bones will come alive make sure lift your hands thank you Jesus hallelujah you're going to shout the name Jesus once and I'm going to begin to speak many of you my God I pray especially for those who have never had encounters dramatic deep encounters let these encounters swallow up spiritual laziness swallow up prayerlessness right now shout the name Jesus once take it now receive it the gift of the Holy Ghost fire fire take it take it inside and outside fire the spirit of prophecy receive it the healing anointing I release it upon you go and heal the sick receive it the healing anointing take it prophesy visions I command visions visions let the vistas of the spirit be opened up to you every gift available for your enriching I command prayer fire
Take it now. Take it now. Pray up fire. Pray up fire. Pray up fire. Regeta tete e prokotoba man prakata e koske e banda pa regeta tete regeta tete e prokotoba. I found the fire on your prayer altar. It comes back alive. I pray for you right now. The Bible says, Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness, and that oil sets you above your fellows. The anointing for distinguishing. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Everywhere you go, be set apart. Be distinguished. Take it now. Hallelujah. 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 And the Bible says, Esther went to a man called Haggai, the one who took care of the virgins of the king. And he gave her a particular ointment to keep rubbing for one year. And she passed the king once and he found favor. I want to pray for you. That anointing that can cause you to ride sweatlessly that grace for favor in the name that is above all names receive it now receive it now receive it now shake up baba sekete man protoskopa shote kete tete tete baba 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 Yes, be distinguished. The favor of the Lord is upon you. The favor of the Lord is upon you. It marks you. The favor of the Lord is upon you. It marks you. Hallelujah. 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 There are many of us who are praying. And say, Lord, what was I born for? Why did you bring me here? What was I born to do? I want to pray for you. Lift your hands. It says, Lo, I come in the volume of the book as it is written. No confusion. A purposeless man will never find fulfillment. I want to pray. That God will grant you revelation of the reason why you were born. That out of the seven billion people in the earth, you were born for a reason. Therefore, my God, let the angel that brings revelation visit your people in the name of Jesus. Through dreams, through visions, through prophetic confirmations, receive the mandate of your life. Receive the blueprint of your life. Hallelujah. Every habit that you are struggling with that is mocking your Christian experience, I don't care what it is, pornography, masturbation, anything that is compromising your Christian experience, right now i judge the spirits behind it i judge the spirits behind it and i command them to let you go be free be free be free be free from every habit be free hallelujah for those of you who do not have a zeal to study the word again it's not like you're not serious you don't even know what has happened to you 
there's no zeal to study the word some of you are finding yourself you were once on fire in terms of your word life some of you would pray through the night some of you would study suddenly distractions happen i want to pray right now son of man can these bones live again and he said only thou knowest i prophesy to you every dead spiritual life in this place my god i pray let the wind the east wind that reawakens dead things that is responsible for resurrection from the east side of the spirit let that wind blow over your life and bring restoration now 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 hallelujah listen to me god wants to make the best out of your life but you must be willing to yield yourself there are two kinds of people in this place right now there are those who have been taking these things of the spirit just playing around you may be born again but your life is so unpredictable you're not serious you know that you need to make it right there are others who have never made this decision for jesus you go to church you have a christian name hallelujah and there are others who are backslidden completely and they need to be restored as i count one to five those three categories of people whether you've given your heart to the lord and you found yourself derailing or you are praying and saying lord i want to be serious with you from today or you are saying lord i'm surrendering everything as i count one to five please i like you to run like your life depends on it god is waiting for you right here one please don't wait for anybody two inside and outside it doesn't matter what you have done run 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 i didn't say walk run run like your life depends on it three Jehovah, we praise you. Jehovah, we, we praise you. We praise your name. We praise your name. I want to pray for you lift your hands i salute you for making this decision this is not unto a man but this is unto god hallelujah i like you to say this after me from the depths of your heart please don't play games with god god is willing to make your life better than you can ever imagine now is the time to shame the devil and say enough is enough enough i'm tired enough is enough say after me convincingly from the depths of your heart lord jesus i repent of my sins you're not reciting a point make sure you understand what you're saying i repent of my sins and i love you with all my heart forgive me today i make jesus the Lord of my life I ask for forgiveness cleanse me wash me I receive your life into my spirit from today forward ever and backward never I denounce sin and Satan and I live unto righteousness Holy Spirit come and live in me make me a new person in the name of Jesus keep your hands lifted and I'll pray for you father receive these ones into your kingdom and your family let today be the beginning of a dramatic and a genuine transformation 
I break them free from wrong companies and Lord I pray that they will be empowered in the inner man to do mighty things for you hallelujah praise the Lord now look at me every one of you I congratulate you this is the best decision you would have ever made in your life and I want you to know that no matter what went wrong in your life this is a fresh start hallelujah now tomorrow listen please tomorrow Bishop Stan will be meeting with you at the chapel just close to the chapel bookstore for the experience of the baptism in the Holy Spirit you need it they'll be guiding you sharing with you a few foundational things it's very very important time is what sir 5 p.m. prompt please 5 p.m. prompt for now I like you to follow the ushers they are waving at you and they will have your information will pray for you and will follow you God bless you please follow them God bless you follow them very quickly hallelujah let's take the following announcements very quickly if you're worshiping with us for the first time this is your first time aside from those who are going out if this is your first time of worshiping with us here at koinonia we love you and we want to bless you please wherever you are just find your way to the front right now god bless you please find your way quickly quickly koinonia celebrate them this is not your best there are people who came all the way from jaws all the way from abuja different parts thank you so much god bless you hallelujah god bless you this is koinonia the ministry put together by eternity network international hallelujah thank you so much for coming we appreciate and we celebrate you we meet every friday this is not our venue our venue is cgc we had to make an arrangement because there was something going on there so we'll be there from next week we're back to our venue the lord bless you thank you so much for coming your life will never remain the same in jesus name stretch your hands saints of god and just bless them pray for them may the lord bless you we cause the heavens to be open over you we bless you with hunger for spiritual things in the name that is above all names may you experience the hand of god in dramatic ways you will understand the intimacy of the holy spirit in the name of jesus thank you once again for coming may the lord bless you may the lord honor you hallelujah i like you to just follow the ushers they'll communicate a few things to you and you'll be back thank you so much koinonia celebrate them very quickly god bless you thank you hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you